I don't have to lie for my nose to grow, though. I don't think his nose is going to grow, but look at this. Profile shot. Check out this honker. I know, what a, I know a thing or two of what it's like to be called fucking Pinocchio whenever I was young. Well, hello, guys and gals. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, welcome in general. Um, I'm super excited to be jumping into Lies of P. Today, I've been waiting for this game. Uh, it's probably one of my most anticipated games of the year. Uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into a new game. I uh, started it up to kind of get my... Uh, controls bearing so in honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi can you hear me Geppetto's puppet we need your help All right. Well, here we are. Here's our uh, lovely little, lo lovely little puppet boy. Um, <laughs> he's got no strings on him, though. Uh, super interesting take on this story in general, which is it's very interesting to me. I'm curious to see how it plays out. But there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I'm super happy to be here. I'm, I'm so glad I get to play this. Probably gonna rage a lot, so get ready for that, you know. <laughs> because it's not gonna be one of those uh easy games. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Whoop. Please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening. Thanks, Game Pass. Appreciate it. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Monad's lamp. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's generally, you know, like, those souls, uh, controls, souls controls, which is, uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, this game is, after all, heavily inspired by, you out of there. Find something that might help. heavily inspired by, uh, Bloodborne, which is probably the best the best Souls game in the series, and it's a damn shame that there's only been one, and it's like... But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. Okay. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Gotcha. So I went, uh, like, during my little controls preview, I went with the dexterity path of the bastard, but I think I might go cricket, because I do like balance. Not exactly sure like what the best one is for this game, but I'm just gonna play how I'd like to play, which is balanced. So we'll go balanced. Okay. Yeah, but this is heavily inspired by Bloodborne. Developers were like, you know what? Fuck it. If we're not gonna get another Bloodborne anytime soon, we'll just make our own with a with our own little uh you know, twist on things. Really curious to see. It's like the robot. They're like clockwork gone fucking mad. Alright. Okay, balance feels pretty good. Yeah. The uh dexterity was very pokey. Alright. Brought Central Station. Happy to be here. Will. It's so pretty. It's very, very nice looking game. I like how, you know, his shirt's getting wet. You can see that bit of opacity coming through his, his shirt, his skin. It's a nice little bit of detail. Video games are fucking cool, man. All right, so we'll get the, so this is basically uh, just your HP recovery, your Estus flask, or your, you know, your blood 
shard flask thingy that was in uh, Bloodborne. Yeah, well, I was saying uh, about Bloodborne is that it's a shame that we haven't gotten a second part to that game. And it's a shame that it's kind of... Nah, that was too soon. Kind of uh, locked behind, you know, the uh, technology of the time, which was, what, PlayStation 3? No? Was it PlayStation 3? No, it was PlayStation 4. What the hell am I saying? PlayStation 3. But still, <laughs> you know, we've got technology now, and it's, so it's kind of like, I don't know if, if oh, okay, so that's locked. I don't know if it's playable on, like, PlayStation 5, and I don't know if the frames are any better, but the last time I played Bloodborne, I mean, it's, it's something you look past because it's such a fantastic fucking game, but... That 30 FPS lock is pretty gnarly. So the guarding, and then if you yeah get a perfect guard, you have potential to stagger them. So yeah, I mean this is about as far as I got here, but I didn't uh, I didn't want to get too far and ruin this shit, you know. But this uh, I like it a lot so far. It feels nice to play. Because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of these games that try and adopt that Soulsborne formula, and a lot of them don't exactly nail it. But ooh, hello! This one has gotten very close. So far, from what I can tell, I mean, there might. Nice. Uh. Let's see. How does one... A thermite bomb. Oh, that's, that's nice. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against their marching enemies. Oh, okay. Soft tooth wheel. Thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Okay, so this is like, I guess, souls, basically. You crush these and whatnot. I'll put this up here. Why not? I'm not exactly sure of the ins and outs of everything, but damn, I just like to look at everything. Look how fucking good this looks. It's very cool. Yeah, it's, it's definitely their own take on that formula, but heavily inspired by it. Which I say, you know, more power to you. Devs, uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what it is. What you know? What else these developers come up with in the future? Because I don't think we're ever going to get a uh, Bloodborne 2, which seems like a yeah. So we'll do the fatal attack to sneak up on them, basically. Aha! Uh, seems like a dropped ball on Sony's part if they don't make a Bloodborne 2. It's like one of their most got to be one of their most popular fucking titles, right? Or am I just... Okay, buddy. I was just gonna... I was gonna try and parry you, but I'm just gonna kick you into the blood. That's where we came from. Now we up here. So, yeah. Okay, so all the... If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive, anyone. Alright, well thanks for the heads up on the giant puppet smashing people. I'm assuming that's uh, our lovely friend down there. So what... In this version of the world, do they just... Kind of like... Every other sort of android uprising robot situation, only it's, you know, clockwork pu puppets. Okay, well, that was shitty ass. There we go. Yeah, I guess it was kind of like, kind of like that kind of situation. And I don't know, I guess Pinocchio here is like Geppetto's perfect creation. 
I don't know. Dim ergo fragment. So let's see. Oop. Can I... I had to use the controller for these games because... Yeah, I gotta use controller for these games. I, I can't... You can't mouse and keyboard on the... I don't know how it, it is on this game, actually. I never really actually gave it a shot, but... Mouse and keyboard on Souls games, Dark Souls, and things like that, I can't do it. More power to you if you can. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that are crat, crat, are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors. Shortcuts. Alright. Fable Catalyst. What the fuck is this? And we'll unlock that door that zapped me from the other side. Actually, let me see what that is. It is a Fable. Catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities rapidly charges Fable. Catalyst made puppets more efficient by circulating ergo energy within their bodies. This groundbreaking invention was based on one alchemist's idea. Okay. It's a consumable. Uh, extra bag. Wait, how do I access... What is this? How do I access the extra bag again? Oh, look, it's, it's staring me right in the damn face. What is that? Last resort. Immediate character death upon use releases all of the P organs energy at once. Dies upon use. The old man feared the possibility of his son f failing to awaken properly and going into a frenzy. This initialization device was made as a necessary evil for delicate readjustments. Don't think I want to use that right now, so I'm just going to pop this on the old uh, belt there. Alright, hey buddy! I think they're dead, pal. You can stop that shit now. Oh, you're coming after me now. Yeah, they basically made him look like a damn cop. Whoa, I'm nice. Oh, I kind of got animation locked there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you get you get a little bit of animation locked there. Now let's go ahead and pop one of these, I guess. Oh, God. I'm trying to see if I can perfect parry these motherfuckers all the time. Okay. I'm gonna die. Damn. Okay, so now he's staggered. And then we'll do this. Okay, he's dead. Alright. Crot Central Station main key workshop union one. That dude was fucking. All right, so we'll do this. Re-ups the durability of your your weapon. That's cool. Jeez, the dude was going on a fucking rampage. Anything else in here? I don't think so. I think I got the key to that big door. Very cool. Very stylish. Stylish game. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of those fucking moments where I, I end up getting my ass kicked. Such is my... Such is my life whenever it comes to these <laughs> games. Very pretty. Ooh, very pretty. Kinda looks like my background that I got going on here. I tried to get one as close to this kind of setting as I could find. Very cool. I think that background there is from Bioshock. Stargazer. Use a Stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. So like a bonfire or whatever. Alright. Let's use it. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Warning. Public direction will exceed danger estimates. Please reduce puppet numbers or reset danger parameters. Reduce puppet numbers. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. 
But the Stargazer's strength <clears throat> doesn't last forever. So be careful with it. What do you mean? Hurry up and come to Hotel Cross. Stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so this is where I level up. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, I'm, I'm just gonna hold off for now, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. On the leveling up, I don't feel like I need to level up just yet. I feel like I need to collect more. God, this is so cool looking. Oh, hello! You startled me. I was admiring the beauty of this world. At the same time, you know, the death and destruction. Is that a dog? Where's the dog? I heard barking. Oh, yep, I heard barking. It's a robot dog! Dim Ergo Fragment. A few of those fragments. Let's just uh, comb this area a bit. For goodies. For goodies sake. I love this setting though. Whoa. Damn, that's cool. Hey! Slap that fucking dog. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm getting bit by puppies. Ah, yelling shit. Okay. Stamina's gone. Okay, so even the, uh... Jesus. I've got a fucking black outfit now. Even the, uh, Harry or the Black doesn't fully, which makes sense, doesn't fully protect you from, uh, let's see, Crop Times, issue 183, Grand Exhibition has been delayed, the decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabella, Isabel Street resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Venigni, Venigni company, Kratz's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. Okay, so the only Pinocchio story I know is, you know, the, the Disney version of it. I've never, like, actually read the actual story. So if any of this is, like, tracking, I have zero idea what's going on. I know it's probably their own take. I mean, obviously it's their own take. I don't think this is what the actual story was like, but, you know, you never know. Uh, anyhow, um, yeah, I, I don't know, you know, with the petrification disease and things like that. I don't know if that was, like, something that was in the book, or the, uh, you know, other versions of the shit. Slapping puppets, though, man, you know. Oh! I tried to lock onto him. At least I rolled all the way. That's good. Okay. Sawtooth wheel, another sawtooth wheel. You can use a throwing object for a long range attack. Okay, so can I, like, actually hurt them with this? Let's find out. Damn, I just like looking around though. I love this fucking setting. I love rain and thunderstorms, man. I wish I could just live in a forever thunderstorm. Ha! Ah, a little bit. Okay. Ow. What the fuck was that? Ah, you Boston. I got something for you, fucker. 
Okay, well, hang on. You sneaky little cheeky fucker. Look at what you've done to me. My health. Ha! And chop him up. Hang on, hang on, I'll be with you in just a minute. Ow. <laughs> I've really gotta get good. Really gotta get good, uh, gooder. It, uh, blocking those attacks. So I'm gonna end up fucking. Might as well just. Uh. Oh shit. Wrong side. Might as well just, uh. Actually, I need to use that left arm. See what that's like. See what it's like, you know? Uh. Hey, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was a one shot. Holy shit. Can I just punch quick? I can. Oh god. Punch a dog. Punch the dog. Nice. That does a lot of damage, but it uh its durability is a little is a little uh lacking. You would think the arm of steel would be stronger than my main weapon. Uh-huh, okay. Whatever you say. Papa, Geppetto. Where are you? The most loyal servants. Yeah. Oh. It's never a uh, good idea to, you know... Did I miss something on that side? I don't know. God, this is fucking cool looking. Whoa, hello, pal. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called Fury. You can't dodge or guard Fury attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. You can't dodge them. I guess with it, I guess if you're within their range. Oh boy, that hurt! I, I, God, I suck at this shit, buddy. You are fucking kicking my. He is a tough boy, huh? God damn it! I am so, so shitty. I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Well, there's one of many. Let's go take care of, uh... Pick up my... Damn... Use fable blade fable arts. Use handle fable arts. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable art. Fable arts use a fable slot. Different fable arts use a different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Ah oh, shit. I wasted it. Okay, buddy. All right. There we go. All right. Okay. Well, we took care of big boy there, big sailor boy, fable catalyst. Hey, take one of these actually for those fable arts. Oh, shit. Okay. So what does the handle fable art do, I wonder? Oh, hello, Pinocchio. Yeah, okay. Concentrate. Okay, alright. Well, those dudes hurt a lot. That uh, doesn't bode well for... Is that hotel for? Yeah. Nice looking. Okay. Alright. Let's go in, uh, Pinocchio in. 
don't know what I'd be lying about, though. Ah, oh, you shithead. Away! Away! Hey, oh, you have no head. How are you operating? You've got no head, mate. I don't want to throw any of this shit. Alright. Hi, buddy. That's a lot of fucking guys. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. How does one... I can't believe I wasted that fucking attack right at the beginning just because I was... Well, yeah, I'm gonna press the button. Fuck it. I don't know why. Venigny's urgent repair to roll. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do more than one part of this or not. I just wanted to play it. I know I'll be playing... Oh, shit. I know I'll be playing it on my own time, though as well. I just wanted to get a video of it uh, in. Aha! I can. There we go. You can do the plunging attack, basically. Alright. It's a nice looking place. I said that about a thousand times already. It's, uh, not as fucking... Bleak as ah, god damn it, as Yarnum, but you know, bleak enough. I really fucking need to learn how to fucking just keep on my guard up. I spent too much time trying to get the fucking perfect, uh, perfect guards, and it fucking, fucking myself. Whoa. Oh shit, a circus? Okay. Go to the circus. I like, is that a... Yeah, that's one of those stargazers. Okay. Actually, let me go down here real quick. Might as well fucking use this, because I'm about to get a goddamn stargazer. And revive all of these assholes. Hello. I guess you can't... Uh, Backstab those fuckers. Can't go this way either. Okay. I hear the circus tunes. All right. A powerful parade no. puppet is blocking the entrance, and that's the only way in. Okay. So please be careful. And who are you exactly? Are you like supposed to be Jiminy? <laughs> Whoa! Dude's got boxing gloves on. I'm about to get fucking rocked. Are you? Oh, never mind. It's just a, just a dummy. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, these guys are seemingly friendly. Ah, ah! Son of a bitch! Can I like? I can. Uh, I think I can. <laughs> there we go. I can. Nice. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. No. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. Uh huh. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. What are you selling? Uh, and what's wrong? Are you a puppet? Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift. Here's a festival gift for oh, you. Oh, well, thank you. Now get yourself something useful. Wandering merchant, huh? We got throwing cell. Inflicts electric blitz damage at the area of impact. Temporarily imbues weapon with electric blitz. Oh, that's nice. Let's grab one of these. Fuck it. Uh, we'll grab two. How about that? Cool. All right, but buddy, appreciate it. I will 
guess then I can electrify some bitches. I know we're gonna go inside soon, but I, I, I enjoy being outside and looking at the environment. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet modeled from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am a Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jelly songs, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. Oh, fuck. The Parade Master was made big in commemoration commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Oh, God. Great. I'm about to get fucking stomped by a goddamn big-ass puppet. Let's use the star case real quick. And now we'll go probably get our fucking shit caved in, uh, I'd imagine. Buy this. Boy, could I do that at the other ones? God damn. Pinocchio? Shit, what? Boy, strong. <laughs> God damn. Ah, oh, shit. You get to see firsthand just how bad I suck at these fucking games. Oh, fuck. Hey, buddy, you look fucking awesome. Holy shit. What do you say? Oh, boy, I can't. Yeah. Too far. Too far. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that leaves me ooh severely open now. Okay. The, uh, this is fucking Dr. Robotnik, man. I swear. I need to get this ready. Wait, can I just can I pop him with one of these? Does this work? It doesn't do much. <laughs> That's okay. Owie. All right, buddy. I am not anywhere near close enough. Yeah. Oh, he took out the cage. Oh no. Oh no! His head's gone! Oh shit. Alright. Uh. Not good. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. That was a good one. Yeah! I need... There we go. Alright. Nice. Shit. Anything I can use over here? Oh, that hurt. Oh boy. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so you can kind of get that back after after a bit. Ah, shit. Shit. This is probably the easiest fucking boss on here, too. Oh, so close. Fuck. I, I fucking, I, 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 uh, I was trying to do too much. <laughs> Here we go. Through the fog wall. Hello, Braid Master. I already fucked up. Ah, damn. I gotta get in very close to fucking shit. Alright. Alright. Shit. I'm 
block too late. Uh, he's pulling his head off again. Damn, I'm doing shitty this time. Even worse than I was last time. Alright, pal. Yeah. Get me in a fucking corner. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Come on, let me. Let me get in there. You fuck. Thank you. No, oh, no, no. We're just fucking ended. Okay, there we go. Second time's the chair. Why does this keep popping up? I don't understand. Parade leaders ergo quartz. Wait, what did that say about the quartz? It's packed with immense power. Our treasure hunter may want this rear ergo. Although the entire audience disappeared in the pool below, the parade master was cheerful as long as they're the king, the show must go on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Colorful tiny ergo fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped on the P organ. What's the fucking P Oregon? Not a shit it did. I should have fucking slapped that dummy so I could get my fucking fable art back. It's definitely not as hard as the fucking first boss in Bloodborne, so that's the thing. Even the first boss in Bloodborne is kinda difficult. You know. I just got killed because I I uh I try to do too much at once. I'm, I'm trying to perfect uh Harry, basically. Well, you would have tried to kill me anyway, buddy. So good. I'm glad One you came. What's that? The hotel security excludes puppets like you. What's that supposed to mean? So you'll have to lie to get inside. Oh. You're a special puppet after all. I am a special puppet. I'm a special boy. I don't have to lie for my nose to grow, though. Hey, I don't think his nose is going to grow, but look at this. Profile shot. Check out this honker. I know, what it, I know a thing or two of what it's like to be called fucking Pinocchio whenever I was young. <laughs> In school and stuff. People are mean. Don't listen to him. You're beautiful just the way you are. Oh man, we're about to leave the... I love the fucking atmosphere out here. The fucking rain and the lightning and all that stuff. wonder how long... How much time is spent indoors in this game. Did I go over here? I like the outside areas. No, nothing over here. Just a bunch of dead ro puppets. I'm going to say robots, man. Technically, basically, they're, they're robots, but, you know. Yeah. Knock, knock. Alright. Time to lie. Okay, I guess I'll lie. God damn it. I hate that this keeps popping up. A puppet cannot lie. Well, I'm a special puppet, thank you very much. Okay. Let's open the door. I saw some, like, red swirlies going on. And in we go. What awaits us at the Hotel Crocs? It's still raining in there. It's raining in Hotel Crocs. Or is that just a courtyard? God, that's cool looking. Holy shit. Ah, fucking yeah. Nice entrance. Fucking sweet. I'm so excited.
We got maidens. That was a very cool intro. I like how the loading bar has a Pinocchio nose. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Mama? I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Crop to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. You can level up through Sophia using the Ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Yeah, she has the Maiden, basically. Nice. I'm not going to level up right now. I think he's in shock. Jiminy. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, mm -hmm. take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon phase, pocket watch imbued with mystical power. The power of the watch turns back time to when a boy was in peak condition. Oh, this is so cool. Man, the character design and everything is freaking awesome looking. This looks fantastic. I am so excited to, to push further into this. I'm not sure if I'll do another part. I probably will. Let's be let's be real. I guess I'm not going to stop playing right now. <laughs> um, but I am going to end the video here just to kind of get that intro in. We'll do that, and then we'll we'll see what awaits us in the hotel here. I am going to miss the outside area. Maybe we'll go back eventually, but... Uh, yeah, so far, really solid. I like it. It plays really well. It's, some of these Souls games, they don't play... Uh, they don't play particularly well. Um, a lot of the time, it's, it's coming from, like, indie developers, which is impressive in its own right, you know, that they're able to, to kind of take it. So I'm thinking of things like Mortal Shell... Um, and most recently, I can't even remember what it was called, but it was uh, anticipated for some people. It was very, uh, I think it's called Bleak Faith, actually. Um, but turns out, you know, they just couldn't quite stick the landing with it. I think if you're going to try and take on projects this big, you, um, you might need, you know, a little bit more than just a few people. Um, but so far, these guys uh, for this have have stuck the landing so far. Like I said, it might not be as difficult right off the bat as something like Bloodborne or, or uh, even Dark Souls, you know what I mean? Or, or Elden Ring. Um, Elden Ring wasn't that difficult, though. It wasn't as difficult as some of the others, but... Yeah, not, not right off the bat, anyhow. It might not be quite as difficult, but, you know, I still died. <laughs> I still died, what, twice? Um, but, yeah. Anyhow, uh, looking forward to the rest of this series. Hope you guys are as well. And uh, if you stopped by, thank you for thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I've noticed a few new faces on the sub list, um, in a post on YouTube. I, I mentioned that, and I, I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by, taking the time out to come check the channel out, regardless of whether or not you stick around. Um, hello, welcome, and uh, you know if you if you are new and you're just stopping by, why not hit subscribe, like the video, you know, click the bell. So you can know whenever I upload. Most of the time, so I'm going to shoot for Fridays and Saturdays. It's whenever I have the most time to to edit things in between and, and put the uh, videos up on the channel. But things like this, this little one-off um, video just for the the game's release, it'll it'll be up on the channel soon. So, anyhow, yeah, I, I'm out of here. Um, I look forward to to seeing you all in the next part to Lies of P. And uh, have a wonderful day. Bye.